Thomas arrived at Maithwaite just in time. The ruined castle is just over the hill, said Thomas to the famous storyteller. Now I will take you there. Thomas puffed as fast as he could. The ruined castle had tall turrets and a great big door. The old kings and queens of Sodor used to live there. You could make up a jolly good story about kings and queens, puffed Thomas happily. But on his way there, Thomas saw Emily in a siding. She was looking sad. She was taking flour to the bakery, but her whistle had broken. It wasn't safe to work without it. I'm sorry, puffed Thomas to the famous storyteller. I cannot take you to the ruined castle. I have to help my friend. So Thomas buffered up to Emily and took her to the bakery. Thank you, Thomas, cried Emily. Thomas arrived at the bakery just in time. Emily was pleased, and Thomas puffed away. Misty Valley is not far from here, chuffed Thomas. Now I will take you there. He had heard Misty Valley was full of magic. You could make up a jolly good story about magic, puffed Thomas. But on his way, Thomas saw Percy. Percy was in trouble. A river had flooded its banks. Percy was up to his buffers in water, and his firebox had gone out. I am sorry, whistled Thomas to the famous storyteller. I cannot take you to Misty Valley. I have to help my friend. Slowly, Thomas chuffed into the water. The water came right up to his footplate. The famous storyteller had to stand on a box of cookies to keep her feet dry. Thomas bravely buffered up to Percy, and he pushed his friend out. Thank you, Thomas, cried Percy. By now, it was time to go to the grand opening, and Thomas was late. Cinders and ashes, wished Thomas. I haven't had time to show any sights at all. Thomas arrived at the new library station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. We didn't visit any sites, puffed Thomas sadly. I had to take James's passengers to Maithwaite Station, Emily's flower to the bakery, and pull Percy out of the water. But it's a wonderful idea for a story, cried the famous storyteller. I shall write all about your day, Thomas, and how you helped your friends. She was very excited, and Thomas was delighted. The famous storyteller cut the red ribbon in front of the new library. She declared it open. Then the children and the engines all listened as the famous storyteller told them the story of her wonderful adventures with Thomas and his friends on the magical island of Sodor.